for Outstanding Editing Documentary. The nominees are. Nine Eleven Inside the President's War Room, Apple TV Plus. The First Wave, National Geographic. A Choice of Weapons, inspired by Gordon Parks. HBO Documentary Films, HBO. Four Hours at the Capitol, HBO Documentary Films, HBO. Toxic Pigs of Fukushima, Vice News, Vice. And the Emmy goes to the first wave, National Geographic. Accepting the Emmy, Francisco Bello, editor. There were like maybe one, two, three patients that we kind of heard about, like whispered about. They're telling me you're not needing as much oxygen as you did before. Is this a COVID patient? Is this not a COVID patient? The infection kind of went into his bones. And now I have a list where pretty much all of the patients have COVID-19. Wow. Editors, we, we, we need paper, so I'm going to look at notes. Um, so on behalf of all of us here and the full editorial team, because there's a lot of us more than all of us here, somebody here tonight, um, we extend our gratitude to the Academy, to the voters, um, and also for giving documentary craft this night, this moment. Um, thanks to Nat Geo, Hulu, Neon, participant, but also to Northwell, LIJ, for giving us the access to do what no one else did, to look inside one hospital, but basically every hospital in this country, in the world, um, and to the families and the health workers that let us in. Uh, I've just spent a week in a hospital in ICU, and I've just witnessed the work that people do day in, day out. They're heroes. Um, to our family, our crew, thank you. This means a lot. Have a good night. Okay, so let's take a look at the awe-inspiring cinematography where those behind the camera have mastered the commitment, the style, the savvy, I mean, the balls it takes to bring an indelible moment to life through their lens. In the category of Outstanding Cinematography Documentary, the nominees are... Buried, Showtime. The First Wave, National Geographic. The Elephant and the Termite, Nature, PBS. Pumas, Legends of the Ice Mountains, Nature, PBS. Puff, Wonders of the Reef, Netflix. The Reason I Jump, Netflix. And the Emmy goes to the first wave, <laughs> National Geographic. Accepting the Emmy, Ross McDonald, Director of Photography. It's been a sleepless night. As a father, you're supposed to protect your family. It will be okay, son. Um, this was really a once-in-a-lifetime filmmaking experience uh, to capture firsthand the hopes and fears, the tragedies and the victories of the early days of the COVID pandemic uh, was an indelible experience. And uh, I shared it with Brian Dawson, Alex Pritz, Thorsten Thilo, our wonderful director and cinematographer, Matt Heinemann, 
for everyone at our time, participant, Neon, and everyone who supported this film, thank you. And mostly for the staff at uh, Long Island Jewish Hospital, for the patients and families who allowed us into their lives at their most fragile moment to create this incredible film. Thank you. We made it, folks. We made it. And just so you know, uh, every winner tonight actually got a bottle of that bourbon. <laughs> so you need to identify them in the crowd and meet them after the ceremony. So in the category of best documentary, to refresh your memory for this last award, these are the nominees. The First Wave, National Geographic. A Thousand Cuts, Frontline, PBS. American Insurrection, Frontline, in partnership with ProPublica and Berkeley Journalism's investigative reporting program, PBS. A Choice of Weapons, inspired by Gordon Parks. HBO Documentary Films, HBO. Four Hours at the Capitol, HBO Documentary Films, HBO. In the Same Breath, HBO Documentary Films, HBO. Obama, In Pursuit of a More Perfect Union, HBO Documentary Films, HBO. The Line, Apple TV Plus. Paper and Glue, MSNBC Films, MSNBC. The Rescue, National Geographic. The Emmy for Outstanding Best Documentary goes to The First Wave, National Geographic. Accepting the Emmy, Matthew Heineman, Director, Producer. Sorry, we have a uh, big team here. <laughs> um, just incredibly, incredibly humbled to be in this room. Thank you for this award. Um, thank you to our amazing, amazing, amazing team. Um, I'm going to try not to cry. Huge thanks to my producing partners, Leslie Norville and Jenna Millman, to our film participants, to our film participants, Dr. DJ. Ahmed and Alexis. Uh, Brussels. Uh, Kelly. 
and Carl, wherever you are. <laughs> um, to our partners in Nat Geo, participant in Neon for believing in this film. We feel just incredibly honored uh, that we had the opportunity to document through a brave group of doctors, nurses, and patients over four terrifying months, the impact of this pandemic. I hope this film will ulti ultimately be a testament to the power of the human spirit when faced with one of the greatest threats uh, the world has ever encountered. Again, just incredibly humbled. Thank you all so much. Wait, you, y'all might y'all might as well stay on stage because ain't no way we gonna get all of y'all off before I say goodnight. <laughs> it's like half the audience is up here. Congratulations to y'all. I mean, what what a night, yeah. And we did it in under two hours. You know what I'm saying? So it's still time to go out and get loose, you know? So I want to thank uh, all of our presenters and congratulations to all the winners. And, you know, Sir David Attenborough, if you're really watching at home, it's time to go to bed, homie. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. Y'all have a good night. Thank you very much. In all categories, the News and Documentary Emmy Awards are judged by members of the National Academy of Television, Arts and Sciences, Inc., or other experienced television professionals. Voting is conducted securely online by panels of industry peers. The results of all the secret voting are known only to the independent accounting firm of Lutz and Carr, LLP, and EY until the broadcast. Full competition rules and guidelines are available at the Emmys.tv.